trees. You can see the different coloration in the bark. That's the fluctuation in water levels. Wait, um, is that bird yours? <laughs> He's gotta be your bird. He's, He's the Everglades, bud. Yeah. Ex He's like, the extra tree? tour guide. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. So, is he yours? He's the Everglades, oh. bud. He's all of ours. Oh. And no one's. <laughs> You see the brown? The darker brown is just fresh water, but if you look up, you can see the white bark, piece yeah. of the bark. Yeah. That's how the how much it fluctuates. Uh, I'm about a good three to four another, feet. Oh, oh, that high. Okay. <laughs> they are edible, bud. They're called pond apple trees, the same one we saw back there. Now, that apple, it's supposed to taste like a honeydew melon when ripe. Like y'all, I have yet to find one that does. <laughs> <laughs> it is very bitter, very. Like the bird try to jump in the boat, we are all right. <laughs> we'll take the bird. Oh, it's not that big. Well, it's Five feet, something like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait till he gets up. <laughs> wait till he jumps in the ow, ow, ow. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Just cruising. Now, guys, we are looking at a living dinosaur, okay? I mean that in every sense of the word, guys. These guys have been predated back to 8.5 million years I'm watching without any evolutionary change. They essentially just got smaller, right? That's the only thing, because they used to be big, big, right? Well, even 8.5 million years ago, they were more or less the same size. Oh. Prior to them, yes, they, they did have brethren some, some that were bigger. Big, big, yeah. <laughs> you checking us out, we checking you out, huh? <laughs> you can count from the nose to the eyes yeah. and you multiply that. So whatever whatever it is in, in inches is what roughly they are in feet. Okay. Twelve feet. <laughs> so there we could be looking probably about nine inches, ten inches maybe, maybe roughly nine I would say. Now guys, they do have 80 teeth, 40 on the top and 40 on the bottom. Now the interesting thing about their tooth is only half of the tooth is solid, the other half is hollow. Reason being is in the hollow portion of the tooth, they have another tooth sitting in there. Okay, so for example, if they were to take a bite out of a turtle and lose a tooth on its shell, okay, they have another tooth ready to replace that tooth that came out. And they do this their whole life. We estimate they go anywhere between twenty to fifty thousand teeth in a lifetime. Mm. Wow! Wow! It's like sharks, huh? It's like sharks. Well, if you take a look yeah, over here, I wouldn't be surprised, guys. <laughs> if you take a look over here, guys, we have what's called a scoop. If you notice on the gator's back, he's got all those spikes, and go all the way through to its tail. Those spikes are individual bones, making them really tough and really strong, okay? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a body armor. It also has another function. It functions as a solar panel in a sense, okay? These guys are cold-blooded animals. They need heat to keep their blood from coagulating. So what they'll do is they spend a good portion of their lives sunbathing. 
the bone will gather all the heat and stay nice and warm while the blood vessels run right under the bone, mm. keeping the blood from coagulating. The biggest one I've ever seen is 14 foot in this portion of the Everglades. Now other portions, they grow depending on their diet, okay? Uh -huh. So there are other portions of the Everglades where these guys diet is different from here. Here they're eating turtles, fish, birds, tourists. <laughs> other portions of the Everglades guys, they are eating bears, white-tailed deer, wild boar. Mm. They're apex predators, so pretty much anything they can get their teeth on, they're gonna sink into it, okay? Now this is the largest gator found in Florida. Oh, That's the largest gator ever found in Florida, right? There was 17 foot, five inches. Mm. Yeah, the size of that. He weighed over 1,200 pounds. He weighed over 1,200 pounds, guys. Okay? Oh, yeah. Now the largest... Um, the farmer actually accidentally it was on a farmer's land that's how he got so big he had livestock and whatnot uh, the farmer was cutting grass and didn't see him and ran him over uh, wow that's how he came across he all those years cutting grass, <laughs> cutting grass. Cutting grass. <laughs> yeah he was always smart enough to leave when he heard the when he heard the guy mowing grass lawn mowing got him Yeah, when that tail comes out, he's pretty good oh, playing. Yeah. Now guys, you gotta all stick into consideration the tail. If you notice the back end of it, it curves down. They kind of use it as, as a propeller. So the portion that you can't see is bent down so he can propel himself through the water. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't think their diet includes tourists. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna jump in the water and find out? <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty interested. <laughs> <laughs> or, or he or she? How do you tell if it's a he or a she? Well, usually when we pull in, she'll wink at me, but she didn't. So it's oh, okay. All right. <laughs> now, guys, on average, it is very difficult to tell, aside from asking the gator to roll over, yeah. which they don't on command. They don't. Yeah, they don't do. <laughs> so um, usually we estimate by si by size. Anything eight foot or under, we estimate is a female. Could be a young male, but. Mm -hmm. For keepsake, we just say it's a female. Anything over eight foot, we say is a male. Usually when you see two together, which is rare, but it happens. When you see two together, you can always estimate the big one's the male, the small one. Uh, how long can they stare? How long can they stare? You want to have a staring contest? I haven't I seen him might win. Yeah, I haven't seen him blink at all. But. These guys actually have two capabilities of blinking they blink up and down just like us mm -hmm. they also have a membrane on the inside of the eye that just closes side to side that membrane is to clean out anything that's in their eye any debris so they can see underwater and of course see above water where do they go uh like where are the babies is there like a little area where they go they behind wherever they leave they lay them oh there's no particular they nursery area that nope. you know they choose a section like right now we are at the end of mating season have enough that we are going to be stopping at that I can show you. Okay. okay. Um, right now it is just eggs. You won't be able to see the eggs because they are covered. But come October, November, we start having them. Oh, wow. And, and they're, they're here around here, their mothers protect them? Oh, yeah. Mom will stay with them the whole incubation period until the babies are born. Once the babies are born, she'll start venturing off to feed herself. Not the babies. The babies from birth. them go out. <laughs> I don't want 
that to her. I'm good. Alright, bro. Now y'all got the full effect. <laughs> you got the bag for that? <laughs> All right. All right, let me get two. <laughs> Pablo's still way down there, right? <laughs> By the way, this never happened. <laughs> no, no. How did it even happen? Coming up right behind you, Art. Be careful. It's a balance. I know. Try to get it up right again. Once we drop you guys off, you'll tie a rope we'll over here and swing it back up. Rope, swing it up. Okay. And then see if we could tow it back in. All right, you gonna stay with the boat? Yeah, I'm here. Not going nowhere. I think we lost just when you come back. I think we lost a hat and a cell phone. A hat and a cell phone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think at least from our perspective, unless Jeff checks his pockets and stuff. I didn't have anything in my pockets, but hopefully we have parking. In yeah, the water there. <laughs> oh, I have